Hello, everybody. Welcome to Scotty Side. Thank you for joining me today. And hey, happy Turkey Day to y'all. All right. Let's get into this good one. Advice from a 53-year-old divorced lady. Oh, this ought to be good. Don't want to get divorced? Sit down. I have some advice for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, real quick. Let's go back just a little bit. Notice this subtle little shit down here she's doing. I gotta show off my little midriff. I gotta show off my tight little pants and my tight little shirt. This bitch is so looking for attention. God, she wants her attention so bad. I got all my makeup on. I've got my little jewelry, blah, blah, blah. You're not fooling us, lady. That's Keep going. advice for you. So that you aren't me at 53. Do stuff together. I was married for 24 years. I disagree. <laughs> I got married at 27. We used to spend so much time together and have, we used to have so much fun together. We stopped spending time together and you lose the thread that keeps you together. And people ask me all the time, what, how did you get divorced? Like, why did you get divorced? What happened? What happened? Nothing terrible happened. We lost our connection. We stopped spending quality Hopefully time together. He did his thing. I did my thing. We would watch TV together at night. That's not really together. No. Saturday came around. What are you doing? I'm going here. I'm going to the bike store. I'm going to uh, smoke a cigar with so-and-so. What are you doing? Oh, I'm going to do my Peloton. I don't know what I did. Watch Bravo. And I'm not blaming him. And I'm not blaming myself. And let me tell you why I'm even thinking about this. I did a, a charity walk a couple of weeks ago. And I'm friends with a lot of people in my building. I have a group of us, probably 20 of us, did this charity walk a couple of weeks ago for breast cancer. And one of the women gave me a ride home. And it ended at like, I don't know, 11.30 or noon. And she's like, so what are you going to do for the rest of the day? And I was like, I don't know. I'm traveling this week and I have to do laundry. And da -da -da. I'm like, what are you doing? Because she's married. She's been married for a long time. Married. Oh, you know, we're probably going to do this. We're probably, And I'm like, we? <laughs> Tell me what a married couple does on a weekend. And she told me. She said, we'll probably go get something to eat. Maybe we'll go up to the dam and go for a walk. I said, what else do you guys do? Like, tell me what, how you, what, what do connected couples do on a weekend? Names all these different things. And it was like, I was reading a book that I, I was so unfamiliar with. <laughs> Just now I got home from work. She pulls up. Now she's in the driver's seat. Husband's in the passenger seat. Yeah. She's like, hey. Yeah. I'm like, where, where, are, where are you guys headed? And she's like, oh, we're going to the Blaze. That's in Westchester County. That's just like gorgeous. Oh my God, this bitch can fucking ramble. Okay. I disagree. Uh, wholeheartedly about oh we have to do everything together no no for the love of god guys want to have alone time we want to be away from you okay it's not that we hate you you know it's nothing like that we just like patrice o'neill said we want you around just not in here we like to do our own thing actually i think if you guys would have kept doing your own things separately, you might you might have made it work, you know? Also, Bill Burr talked about this. Um, no, 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 it was Dennis Leary. It was Dennis Leary, that's right. He was talking about, like, how, someone asked him, like, how has how your uh, married life stayed together so well? Because he's obviously just the most stable person ever. <laughs> and he said, the, the secret is to stay the fuck of, as far away from each other as possible at all times. You, he's like, get separate bedrooms if you have to. He's like, you, they, they come in, they, they talk and do their thing, and then they go and do their own, th they go their separate ways and everything like that. And I was like, that yes, yes, exactly. And I bet what this bitch did was try and like force her husband to be like, let's do more. Like, no, we need to do more. Like in his face, trying to get him to like, come on, come on, come on, smothering him. And he's just like, Ugh, get, it's like, stop, stop. No, I like to do my own thing. I like to be by myself. That's how we are. We don't want you around all that time. Uh, or excuse me, all the time. We need our own space. This is why there's things called the man cave, which is, that's a whole, different <laughs> that's a whole different thing that the talk about man caves get out the get the fuck out of here guess what my whole apartment that i'm in right now is my man cave and this is this is where i live and I, what i say goes and that's how it would be you don't like that get the fuck out
But yeah, this bitch is... No, ladies, we don't want you around all the time. We don't want to do everything together all the time. Leave us the fuck alone. Uh, like art installation for Halloween where they take... That's not the point. It's like lit up beautiful pumpkins. Okay, like, get to it. He's like, he holds up the thing and he's like, I bought the tickets. I was like, check you out, okay? Like, that's freaking great. Like, go have the best time. And they drove off. And I ran over here to tell you, they're solid as hell. No, they're not. These connected couples. <clears throat> no. Don't wait until it's so far gone and so long that you don't even want to do stuff together. The divorce sucks. And I wouldn't wish it on anyone. And if you have a way to stay together... Even though you're kind of like, oh, I'd rather just like lay on the sofa and be on my phone or I'd, I'd rather just go to the bar and grab a beer with my boys, whatever. Push yourself not to do that because that'll keep the connection going. It'll no. foster the connection. No, it'll make it worse. And you won't get to the point where you don't want to do stuff together. Yeah. Quit trying to force shit on your husbands. Stop it. They don't want to do it. This is why you got divorced. You tried to push. You even said it. Push to do this. Push to do this. This is what you did. You pushed, 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 pushed until you pushed him the fuck away. You divorced idiot. She's wrong and she deserves what she got. That's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. Please have a very happy and safe turkey day. I wish the best for all of you. I love you all. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Avoid tardos like this, please. I love you all. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.